Who's Who is up next. It's good to have Mr. Sonny Siegel return to his desk as many of our viewers missed his absence. Mr. Siegel, if you don't know, is the CIO of Montgomery County, Maryland. Mr. Siegel brings in remarkable guests on his show. With that being said, his remarkable guest today is Congressman Chris Van Hollen, along with Delegate Aruna Miller. Let's hear out this conversation. Welcome to the Who's Who Show. This is your host, Sonny Siegel. Today, I have a very special guest. It's Congressman Van Hollen, Democrat from Maryland. Uh, you have heard uh, Congressman Van Hollen's name often in the region, and now more so because he is candidate for the U.S. Senate. I also have co-hosting with me today Delegate Aruna Miller. Uh, you know Delegate Aruna Miller for a huge contribution uh, to the state of Maryland and the region and to the community of Asian Americans globally. Welcome to the show today. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you for making the time. It's such a, such a very special time in your uh, run for office, for higher office. Thank you also for being here. Uh, I wanted to uh, point out that Delegate Miller has worked very closely with Congressman Van Hollen throughout his career and is a strong supporter of Congressman Van Hollen. I am going to request her to say a few words as introduction of their work together. Thank you, yeah. Sonny. And Congressman, it's a great pleasure to be here with you today. And with you. Thank you. So Congressman Van Hollen has spent over 25 years representing the uh, people of Maryland in various capacities. He first started in the Maryland General Assembly mm -hmm. as a delegate and then on to a state senator. And of course, we are so fortunate to have him serve as a U.S. Congressman for the 8th District. Now. We in the Maryland General Assembly, specifically uh, all the legislators, have worked on the progressive values and the initiatives that Congressman Van Hollen started when he was part of the General Assembly, including such things as pay equity, making sure that we have sensible gun laws, and investing in our K through 12 education. Thanks to Congressman Van Hollen, Maryland has been a progressive leader in all of these issues. Now, at U.S. Congress, you've been recognized as one of the most effective legislators in Congress. And I think one of the reasons is because you're able to reach across the aisle and work with people. And similarly, Congressman, you've been able to reach across the global aisle and represent the very diverse ethnic communities in the state of Maryland. So we thank you for that. Thank and I you. think one of the reasons perhaps you have this great understanding and respect for the ethnic communities is because of your own upbringing. As I understand, you were born in Karachi, Pakistan. That's right. And you spent much of your life in southern India going yes. to school there. You've also yes. lived in Sri Lanka yes. and Turkey. You've got the whole thing. Right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. So can you talk a little bit about your experience and most recently, um, Prime Minister Modi came to address yes. the joint session for Congress. So if you could speak to that a little bit. Well, thank you. Uh, and it's great to be here with you, uh, Delegate Miller. Thank you for your leadership uh, in the General Assembly. Uh, Sonny, good to be with you uh, as well. Uh, look, I think one of the great strengths of our region in the state of Maryland um, is its diversity. We have people coming from all over uh, the world. And I, I do have a special appreciation for that uh, in part because of my uh, upbringing. My father's family was from Baltimore mm -hmm. originally, but he went to the Navy uh, mm -hmm. and then the Foreign Service. He teamed up with my mom. And I grew up uh, in a family that represented the United States overseas. Uh, mm -hmm. So you're right, born in Karachi, Pakistan, lived in India for a number of years going to school. Uh, high school in a place called Kodi Canal, uh, yeah. which is in Tamil Nadu in southern India. Uh, and my father served as the United States ambassador to Sri Lanka. Uh, and we also lived in Turkey. And so those experiences, I think, did give me a, a real sense of how important it is uh, for people to work together and also uh, the ability for people 
of all different religions and all different backgrounds uh, to uh, come together. Uh, and yet, just recently, during the Prime Minister uh, Modi's visit, uh, I had the opportunity to uh, listen to his address to a joint session of Congress. I, I was proud to be part of the escort uh, committee um, and had a chance to speak to him briefly and talk about uh, the fact that I'd gone to school uh, in southern uh, India. And, you know, in that speech, he talked about uh, the coming together mm -hmm. of the world's largest and most populous democracy, India, uh, with the world's uh, uh, you know, longest existing uh, democracy uh, here in the United States. And so there are great opportunities for India and the United States uh, to work together even more closely. Um, I'm proud in this campaign for the United States Senate to have been endorsed by the Congressional uh, Asian American Caucus, mm -hmm. um, which uh, is a caucus that comes together to focus on issues of special importance to the Asian American community. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So once elected as the U.S. Senator from Maryland, Congressman, can you talk about the priorities that you believe the next U.S. Senator should have? Sure. Look, I think the, the priorities for both Maryland and for the country uh, need to be to build an economy uh, that grows quickly, uh, but also uh, provides for more shared prosperity for more of the American uh, people. And that means investing early on in education, uh, mm -hmm. beginning with early education, right. uh, making sure that we have schools with small class sizes um, uh, and that we you know, provide good opportunities for our teachers. It means making sure people can go to college uh, without coming out with huge debts, yep. uh, strengthening our community college system and our four-year system. And then it means uh, trying to make sure that we uh, encourage you know, businesses and innovation uh, mm -hmm. in the state of Maryland. I, I've been proud to represent the district that's home to the National Institutes of Health. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have great opportunities uh, to invest uh, in new discoveries and medicines and treatments uh, for, for various diseases. We need to expand our infrastructure and modernize our infrastructure. So there are lots of things that we need to do mm -hmm. um, to uh, bring our economy into the 21st century and provide more jobs and more good paying jobs. Thank you. Thank you. All those are very important uh, values and then issues for our people, you know, our, our viewing audience as well, uh, many of whom are Asian Americans. Um, you have a very large number of important endorsements, I noticed, mm -hmm. uh, including just one from Montgomery County Executive I, Isaiah Leggett. Uh, he sure. goes on to say that we need a proven leader like Chris Van Hollen, whose reputation for deep intellect, courage, and leadership is unrivaled. Well, I'm very proud to have the uh, endorsement and support of uh, County Executive Ike Leggett, who's been a great leader uh, in Montgomery County. Uh, also proud to have the support of County Executive Rashern Baker in Prince George's County. Um, and I will say, you know, the Montgomery County um, delegation uh, to delegation. Annapolis, the entire delegation. And I, look, I, I'm, I'm proud to have now received support from people throughout uh, the state of Maryland because we all want to work together uh, to find a way to make sure the state of Maryland um, can grow and prosper and we have a good quality of life for for our people so we want to make sure we grow the economy we want to protect our environment protect the chesapeake bay um, make sure that people regardless of their background um, have an opportunity um, we need to make sure as uh, delegate miller said that we have pay equity there are lots of things we we need to do to make our state an even better uh, and stronger place and you know my opponent in this uh, senate race uh, has endorsed donald trump and, uh, you know, Donald Trump is trying to pull himself up politically by dividing Americans against one another, by dividing people based on religion, dividing people based on res ethnicity and race. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that is not who we are uh, in Maryland or the United States of America. Uh, we're a country where people can come and succeed based on uh, their own desire uh, to live the American dream. We need to provide more opportunities for more people. Uh, but everything Donald Trump is saying is contrary yeah. to what we stand for uh, in the United States of America. So I've been very disappointed that my opponent 
in the Senate race uh, has said sh that she would support Donald Trump. Yes, yes. Now, um, mentioning uh, the county executives and all the support that you have gotten for an outstanding performance, actually, uh, in the primaries, mm -hmm. um, is it uh, possible for the local governments, the state governments, to, to work with the federal government to make dramatic changes in the direction the country is going in. And as U.S. Senator, mm -hmm. uh, of course, you'll have purview over the entire country and, and, and passing laws and things that make a sure. difference. Well, I think it's very important uh, that the local governments, the county governments, um, that the state government, uh, or the delegate Miller, um, you know, uh, represents, and the federal government uh, work very closely uh, together because at the end of the day, our constituents are all the same. And when they pick up the phone um, to ask for, you know, help, whether it's with respect to education or whether it's another issue, Social Security, the end of the day, they don't really care whether the person at the other end of the phone um, is at the local government, the state government, or the federal government level. They just want to make sure that their government is there mm -hmm. to work for them. And so we do work very closely uh, together, and that's important to the success of the state of Maryland. Very interesting. Absolutely, and I think another aspect to the success of state of Maryland, Congressman Van Hollen, is that you've been able to effectively lead us in the direction that we need to be, again, reaching across the aisle, working with people of different political backgrounds yeah. to pass legislation, and of course, constituent services in your office are incredible. Again, you have a very diverse community that you meet the needs of, and you do it so well, and you spend a lifetime doing that. So we, as, as constituents, are very thankful for your service to the state of Maryland. So well, thank you. thank you, thank you. And I, I, I will say, in, in addition to making sure that the local government, state government, and federal governments are working together, it is very important that we try to uh, reach out and work on a bipartisan Absolutely. basis uh, to you know resolve our challenges at the, at the national level and other levels of government. And one of the difficult things these days is that is the political polarization runs very deep. Um, you know, unfortunately, we do have a, a group in Congress, the Tea Party Caucus, mm -hmm. um, which comes to Congress with the view that they're not going to support anything that President Obama supports. So when you have people who take the position that they have to have it 100 percent their way mm -hmm. or nothing, uh, unfortunately, you know, people get nothing. Um, and so we need more people who are going to work with others. Um, to try to, to try and get things done uh, for Maryland and for the country. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, after these November elections, we have more people in Congress uh, who are willing to try to work with one another to get things done. Yes, that's very key. And as senator, you will be um, replacing uh, uh, Senator uh, Barbara Mikulski, who has a longstanding record you know, of mm -hmm. achievement. Uh, yes. Are you looking forward to the challenge? Well, first of all, let me say about Senator Mikulski. Um, I, I've said that when Senator Mikulski is with you, the force is with yes, you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, because she is uh, somebody who is well respected in Maryland and around the country. And her focus, like my focus, has always been at the end of the day on delivering results uh, for the people of Maryland. Uh, we have lots of debates in Congress, um, and there are lots of big, important national issues that we need to address. But at the end of the day, the way Marylanders and constituents measure progress is whether or not what we're doing has a, a positive impact on their lives. And uh, that's why it's so important that we work together to do that. And that does mean making sure we have an education system that's second to none, making sure we invest in our infrastructure, whether it's transit, like the Washington Metro system, <laughs> that clearly needs uh, an upgrade um, and more accountability. Uh, to more investment in our in our roads and other transportation systems, building out broadband. There are lots of things that we need to do uh, to make sure that Maryland and the United States can compete uh, in the 21st century. Looking ahead to the election, um, are there uh, some words that you would like to say to our uh, viewing audience uh, about the election? 
Well, sure. Thank you. And first of all, thank you again for um, the interview. And I would just say to uh, Marylanders uh, and others listening that we have a huge opportunity in Maryland and the United States uh, to really uh, invest in our future. And again, that means making sure that every one of our children has the opportunity for a best start, best start in life, making sure those who have worked hard and are working hard uh, get decent pay um, and fair wages, and that people who have worked hard for a lifetime have a secure retirement. Uh, and those are the kind of things that I want to focus on. Um, recognizing that our community has been strong because we have people uh, who have come to the United States from all over the world. And having grown up in uh, South Asia, uh, I do think I have a special appreciation for how that uh, inspires and gives us even greater strength. Your uh, platform, of Thank course, you. is very inspiring. I wish you all the best, uh, you know, in the coming election. I know our viewers will take all the things you said to heart uh, and vote for you. Uh, wow. Thank you also. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, again, uh, Delegate Miller. This is Sonny Siegel signing off from the Who's Who show on the Capitol Forum. I look forward to seeing you again next month on the fourth Saturday when I'll have another important guest on the show. Mm -hmm.